One thing that a lot of people desire for their device is the pixel style of interface. Unfortunately, that's pretty hard to get as most of the pixel devices are quite expensive or have some pretty major faults. Fortunately, there are ways to get the pixel interface on your device without root, and it's pretty easy. Let's get right into it. Before we start, everything I mentioned in this video has links in the description, so check those out. The first step to getting that pixel look is customizing your home screen, and that can be done with two apps, Rootless Pixel Launcher and Pixel Q Icon Pack. Both of these apps are free and on the Play Store, so super easy to get, links below. And all you need to do is set Rootless Pixel Launcher as your default launcher, and within the launcher settings, set Pixel Q Icon Pack as your icon pack. This will give you the pixel style launcher and pixel icons for your home screen, as well as Google News integration and some extra bonus options that might come in useful later. Overall, this is just a super clean and super nice looking home screen that perfectly emulates the pixel look. Of course, you also need the pixel wallpapers for your device. Fortunately, wallpaperaccess.com has all of the pixel wallpapers easily accessible for everyone, free to download, so link for that is also in the description. Now that your home screen looks like a pixel device, it's time to customize the notifications and quick settings. Fortunately, PowerShade has come to the rescue. PowerShade allows you to get the pixel style of quick settings on any device and it's super easy to use and set up. All it needs is a few permissions and settings and then you're ready to go and it just looks amazing. Now for the tricky part. A lot of manufacturers include a bunch of duplicate Google apps that really don't need to be there since Google already provides that solution. Fortunately, there are some pretty easy ways to deal with this. Now there are too many Google apps to click count, but I'll put the link to their general app section in the Play Store in the description, but there is one app that you cannot get in the Play Store, and that is the Google Dialer. That app is only available on XDA developers, so I'll put the link for that in the description. And if you once you install all of the Google apps, you'll really get a much better feel of the Pixel interface than just with the stock apps and some customizations. The next step can be a bit more complicated. Ideally, you can just remove all of the apps from your device, but unless you're rooted or know what you're doing with the computer, this can be very hard. Fortunately, Rootless Pixel Launcher has the option to simply hide apps from your home screen, and this allows you to sort of pretend that the annoying apps that your manufacturer put in your phone don't exist. Alternatively, on certain devices, there are package disablers available on the Play Store, although these are a bit sketchy, so I wouldn't exactly recommend them. I would just stick with the Pixel Launcher option. So if you've done everything in this video, your device should now feel much more like a Pixel device. This is surprisingly easy to do, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next video. Also, like and subscribe if you enjoyed.